we did a video earlier long on how you can be able to batch rename PDF files according to the content it contains. I'll put it somewhere here. Now today we are going to do exactly the same but suppose you don't have Adobe Acrobat and you don't want to use a plugin, you want to use something more universal, then there's another option for you. The name of the software is uh, APDF Rename and uh, you can click, you can either buy, it's quite cheap, or you can just go ahead and uh, download a, a trail version so that you get to try it first before buying it. So I have this already. We can just click on download. And uh, we open the folder and see the content. So now we, we downloaded uh, the software. We click on a on the setup so that we get to install it. Yes, accept. Yes, I want it there. Yes, I want uh, to create a desktop icon. Yes, click on next and then install. And uh, we want to launch it. Yes, this is how it looks. We don't have the key now. We just want uh, to try it out. We have 15 days of the trial period. So after installing a PDF rename, this is the interface that you're going to meet once you open it up. So the process is made up of three steps. You add your documents, then you select the rename method, and then you click on preview, and then you go ahead and rename if you are satisfied with the results. But for that to happen, you first of all have to create macro. Remember, we want to rename the, full, the files according to the content inside those PDFs. So you click on a content tag macro, And then we want to browse to where we have the folder. So it's in our desktop. Invoices, we grab one of them like that. Uh -huh. And uh, this is what we are going to use. We are going to use um, the name, which is inside the PDF. And use that name as our file name. So as you can see, using the OCR, it was able to identify everything here. Our work is just to go and uh, click on what you want to rename our PDFs uh, file according to. So you click on that one and then we want to get the content by position. Click on OK. We want to rename this. The tag name will be, let's call this position. And uh, you can add or decrease the deviation. And um, we are done with that, so you click on OK. So now we click on Save. And we are done with the first step, defining our macro. Now let's add the files. You highlight everything as like that, and then click on Open. Now we have all the files. So the next thing that you're going to do is to select our rename method. You don't want to use the file name. What you're going to use is uh, the one that we created right now. And uh, we go all the way to content tag. And uh, remember, we created content position. So we named that position. Click on that. And now we have this selected. Now we are done with uh, the rename method. Click on preview. And uh, you can check whether it was accurate. And um, I think it's, yeah, and it's okay. It renamed all the files exactly as we would expect. And now that we are now satisfied, we can click now on rename. So this is the log. And uh, we can quit the log. So we are done now renaming the files. The good thing about uh, this method is you can add another macro. This time we want to we want to add the invoice number which is here so you click on it then you get the content by position and uh, we want to put the tag name as some invoice number okay so we click on okay and so it's not happy about about new characters so you just click on ok and uh, we save so now we have two macros 
and uh, you remember the second step you highlight the pdfs that you want to rename you click on open and then here we want to add a macro which is uh, an invoice so we can preview and as you can see we have the name and we have the the invoice number so click on rename and as you can see they renamed themselves everything was renamed according to the content we can quit everything go open one of them see whether it was accurate so this is amelia rose and uh, this is exactly what we would expect so thank you for watching the tutorial all the way up to the end if you're getting value kindly subscribe and like share turn the notification bell on so that you get to be notified every time we upload something new